and also Viala has joined. Good evening, Viala. Hey, good evening. Two to M. Okay. All right. So, uh, I think yes, Naisaki is here, and right. So, I think we will go ahead uh, <clears throat> with a word of prayer. Uh, may I request uh, Brother Chako to start with a word of prayer? Sure. Have a look to God in prayer. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much for this time that you've given us, Lord. Thank you so much for this gift of technology, Lord. That even though we are far apart, all over India, Lord, but we still could gather here today. Thank you so much for the hunger that you've given us, Lord, for your word, Father. I pray that, Lord, there might be no distractions today, Lord. I pray that may the connection be good, Father, so that we are not distracted, but we can focus on your word alone, Father. I pray mostly that, Lord, you soften our hearts together, that we can look up to your word today and learn from there, Father. Help us to grow more in fellowship and in your word, Father. I also pray for those who are still connecting to Zoom, Father. I pray, Lord, that they will be able to connect and they'll have a great time of fellowship, Father. I also pray for the speaker today, Father. I pray that, Lord, you touch his heart, Father. It is through him that you'll bring your word today, Father. I pray, Lord, that may your Holy Spirit guide each one of us, Father. Thank you so much, Father, and keep our hearts open. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> right. Thank you so much, Brother Shako, for your nice prayer. And <clears throat> I once again welcome each one of you for this, the uh, last or the third last of this uh, uh, Bible study, which we had planned. And I really appreciate each one of you coming for Bible study in this manner because, see, everyone. Uh, everyone has, you know, our own works, things to do, but you have prioritized, you have prioritized to come, you know, to join for the Zoom Bible study. And then our friends, those who are in YouTube, you have prioritized, you have set aside for the Lord. This shows that you have the hunger to grow in the word of God. And this is so encouraging. So before... I hand over to our uh, leader, uh, Brother uh, Opia Lal, Lal Ompuya. Lal Ompuya. So <clears throat> maybe I will uh, give a brief introduction about our leader who is going to take Bible study. And uh, <clears throat> before that, in Bakhtong, the network becomes weak after nine o'clock. So we will try to finish uh, before network becomes weak and after nine, network becomes uncertain. So that way we will finish early only. So I appeal to all of us who are now ready to start to finish together. So uh, yes. With this, I uh, introduce our brother uh, Lal Ompuya. He, he joined his uh, BSc in G3, and in his second year, he, from first year itself, he started involving with EU, and in his second year, he uh, took up the responsibility as music secretary and uh, in, in his final year, he was the GTD president, GTD EU president. And there he uh, gave good leadership, good leadership. He could raise good successors and he became a mentor. And uh, he, he started, you know, he was instrumental in shaping many of his colleagues and sharing about UESI ministry with passion. And he attended uh, a CMTC committee members training. 
program. Uh, so that way, he was instrumental in shaping many of his uh, successors and so encouraging. And thereafter, and at the same time, he was, you know, he is uh, someone who is so special because he was president of G3, uh, EU president. And at the same time, he was IC, uh, AIC EU president, holding two posts of president in the same year. That is something very special. So thank you so much, uh, Opia. And he finished his MSc from MJTU, MSc chemistry from MJTU. And he is now doing his uh, BA in his last semester now. And he is the currently uh, ISOL EGF treasurer. And he is very meticulous and very sincere and very hardworking and passion for the students ministry. So we are so blessed uh, and we are, we thank God for the gift of Brother Opia's life and he has, his life has been such a blessing. So to the ministry in the whole state of Mizoram. So we are so happy to have Brother Opia uh, taking Bible study for all of us uh, this evening. So may I, I hand over the time to Brother Opia. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Yes. I hope you can hear me all. Okay. Okay, first of all, thank you so much, Brother Philip, for your wonderful introduction and a warm welcome and i'm already blessed by seeing all your faces <clears throat> thank you for joining us it's in every one of us and and i would like to thank especially for my batchmate i invited them this evening like brother ella from i and brother Ardia from Tenzol and brother Stephen from Bangalore. These are my best mates during my EU days. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. And so as we have a very limited time, let us continue and get forward into the passage. I hope you can hear, hear me all. So if you do have some problem, you please let me know, okay? So the verses that I have taken is from 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 17, 18, and 19. So let us have a time, few time for reading these passages. Let us look and read to the verses. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 17 to 19. Let us take some time to read. So while reading the verses, I want you to look to the people's involved, the characters involved for observation about the time and all. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> okay, I hope you finish reading. Let us start by observing the things inside the verses. So first of all, who are the characters or persons involved? Could you please tell me who are the persons or the characters involved within this passage? You may use the chat. The rich people from Brother Viela. God from Sister Tlantui. Any more? Is there any more?
Yes, Ma Matea, it's right. 17, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 17 to 19. So, <clears throat> in these three verses, as we look to the verses, we find only two, uh, two names, two characters involved. They are the rich people, the rich people, and God. So, Brother Eli is also saying rich, rich people from YouTube. Thank you so much, Brother Ella. And so, these are the two characters involved in the verses. So, let us go to the next observation, observation of time. Does it mention about time? Does it mention about time? Does this verses mention about time? The present world from Brother Viela. The present world. Any more? The present world. The coming age. Okay. Any more? Is there any more? So, yeah, I think these are the two, the two words which refers to time. We may say that this is in the present and the future. The coming age is the future, while the present world will be the present time. But as we look back to the history, uh, this letter was sent uh, in the first century. Uh, my source says that it's uh, about 65 AD. So the present world, now our present world is the future from this time. But I think this is still convenient for us to say that the present world that is mentioned in the verse is still what we live in the, the present time. So next, what are the re repeated words? What are the repeated words? What are the repeated words? Is there any repeated words? Command from Brother Philip. Command, command, reach, any more? Is there any more repeated words? Life, okay. Ella from YouTube says, command, that is right, yes. Any more? Do we find good? We find it in, it in yes, Sister Gracie. Thank you so much. Good is also repeated in verse 18. So <clears throat> I think these are the repeated words. Life, yes, Sister Tanpui. Live, Sister Veronica Dingi from YouTube. Thank you so much for your, all your answers. So, <clears throat> is there any action verbs? Let's go to the next observation. Is there any action verbs? Is there any action verbs? A words or phrase? Ready from Berman, Siha. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Any more? Do. Okay, thank you. 
Agora vi, é lá. To put Sister Atlani, thank you for your answer. To share Gracie. Command, okay. Sister Santi, thank you to command. To take hold. To give. Gives from Brother Mara from YouTube. Works from YouTube. Brother Mara, thank you so much for your participation. <clears throat> Store up so many action verbs, so many actions coming up in these three verses. So, provides for from Van Hoy, but Van Hoy, okay. I think. We all understand that these three verses is all about doing. It means it is all about doing things. So we have so many practical things to do right after this Bible study. So <clears throat> there are three, uh, four repeated words, which will be very important for our further studies. Let us keep in mind and about the time is also only two is mentioned and the characters only two are involved. So they are very, very important for our further studies for the interpretation and the application. So let's go to the interpretation directly. I will ask a very tricky questions. Maybe it, it may be a hard, it may be hard to answer it in a very short way. So you may, I may unmute you and you may, if you like to share or say something. Uh, okay, uncertain. Thank you. Thank you, brother. So you may raise your hand. And you may say something about it because it may be a, a little bit hard for you to type it all of the answers in the chat. So the question will be, who are the rich people? Who are the rich people? I want an answer of two types, according to you and according to the Bible. Who are the rich people? Who are the rich people, according to you? And according to the Bible, whom do we call the rich people? So, Brother V allowed. Thank you. Is this according to you or the Bible? <laughs> Sister Tlampui. Okay, brother. I bring all my people who is ready to share. According to me, yeah. I think brother Viela is. Uh, brother Sako, which are those the ones who are privileged, not only in monetary terms, but being privileged in any form? Brother Rin Omar, people who are willing to share whatever they have to anyone who are in need. Okay, thank you for your answers. Uh, here, Paul counsels Timothy to teach. Those who are rich in material possessions, those who have more than the mere essentials of food, clothing, and shelter. 
So Paul does not condemn such people nor command them to get rid of their wealth. So he's just merely telling Timothy uh, to minister to these people to share because they have more than they need they should to share to others. Okay. So I would like to ask an additional question on this one. So do you think that someone will see you as a rich person, any person in the world? Do you think that any person in the world may see you as a rich one or maybe not? What do you think? Do you think anyone of the person in the world see you as a rich person? Any answers? Okay, uh, let me just answer in short. Like, okay. uh, as Brother Mark has said, even what Brother Mark has said was like uh, my opinion, because like, this was sent to the Timothy by Paul uh, because like, this, this was sent to the those Christian in Ephesian, those who are materially rich. Okay? So like according to the Bible, those who are mentioned here are those who are like materially rich, wealthy, I and mean, like we can say like very rich okay. people. So uh, even in our even in my context today, like an additional question, I don't know if people might see us rich because like we are working also. But like tonight, uh, when this when the Bible say like those who are rich. We can include every one of us because, like, we are fortunate enough. Because, like, tonight we are having cell phone, we are having this our mobile, we are having this laptop, and we are having internet. So I think it can include us all when we are saying this rich people. I think everyone, those who are joining, I think we can include in this uh, this category. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Brother Viela. <clears throat> so when we say that. Rich people are having like literally. We always mean uh, with money in manner. We may not call ourselves a rich one, even though some of them may see us as a rich person. We may not able to call ourselves a rich one. So. Who is uh is there anyone who likes to say something? Okay. So I want to keep I want you to keep in mind that am I rich or not? According uh just not what other things, but just look into yourself. Am I a rich one or not? So I will ask question again about this thing in the application. So for the next question, uh, what does the word commands, what does it mean in this passage? What does the word command means in this passage? Brother and Kola and brother Ella is answering to YouTube. They will see me as a rich, but only in Christ, not according to the world, from Brother Ella. Brother Enkola, I think it depends on how we define rich. For some, we might be so poor. For some, we might be quite rich. Okay. It depends on how we define rich. Yeah. Brother Moray and Brother Adia is also commenting to you too. Brother Adia, yes, I only depend on God. My friends and others used to see me as a rich person because of that. That's a great answer. Brother Mara, rich people are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires. Okay. So there can be so many definitions for rich. So let's concentrate to the next question. 
what does the word commands means in the passage you can find it on the first line to instruct or to guide from brother sako van hoy and brother burma order okay okay any more to command is to give an order or to instruct or to guide according to your answers so okay paul ask timothy to command the rich uh, the rich people uh, we can see this command in the christian standard bible it uh, it was translated as instruct so i think to give an order is also correct but to put it in as an instruction or to guide maybe the appropriate one setting examples yes from youtube brother and kola hawnar okay and i will continue again uh as we seen in, in this verses the rich people are link or connected with very uh with so many negative negative things we see in different parts of the bible as well so why do you think that the bible links a rich people or a rich person with negative things in many place uh, in different places inside the bible why do you think that the rich person and the negative things are linked to uh, link uh, together many times i'm waiting for your answers why do you think the bible link a rich person and the negative things many times for example we have the the rich guy and the and lazarus proud from barman it is hard for the one who is rich to let go of their possessions okay from brother zawa okay thank you brother there are somebody out outside some children were playing i'm so sorry i'm so sorry some children were playing outside i think they will be gone soon brother ardia from youtube because if we have everything we want in this world we suddenly forget god and walk away from who bless us from god yes that is so true and brother ella from youtube cause they just love their things rather than jesus they concentrate too much on their richness okay so when we talk about rich I think because of most of the rich people are negative for the, from their experience. Okay, thank you. So when we talk about richness, uh, it is directly linked with the money, right? So, so money is the root of all evil. From from brother Rin Omar. Uh, it's normal that rich people don't need other as uh, as we poor do so it is obvious that it's very difficult to have 
humility. Okay. So technically, they slowly develop pride within them, themselves. Okay, that is so true. Yeah, there are so many answers. There could be so many possible ans answers from for these particular questions. But the most important one is what we think. So just keep in mind that our answers are all true. When you talk about richness, it's, uh, it directly links to the money. So when we go too far or too much to earn money, we do bad things, right? There are so many bad things on the way. So some so many people earn uh, money through doing by doing unfair means. So maybe that is also why the Bible links the rich people and the negative things so many times. So let's go to the next question again. Uh, as we look to verse uh, 18, command them to do, uh, to do good, to be rich in good deeds. So what, could, what are these good deeds? What could be good deeds? What are the good deeds? I think you can find some answers within the verses itself. Generous. Generosity, yes. Any more? Good works which pleases God to help each other. Okay. Okay. There is also one in verse 18. Self sacrifice. Kindness from YouTube, brother Ardia. To help others. Okay. You've given me some, uh, you've given me very, very good answers. So, generosity and a willingness to share. So sharing, can we count sharing as one of the good deeds? Uh, so what I want to stress upon is that sharing. What do this passage means by sharing in this uh, verse? What is sharing? What do we have to share? What is sharing? Sharing is, uh, we find it in verse 18. What do you mean by this share, willing to share, sharing? Where the wealth we giving some physical to others. Okay, where do we have to share?
Motibu. Giving, yes, our dear <coughs> So, <coughs> sharing here, sharing, this sharing is one of the reason why I choose these verses giving when you can from the content of being rich so this is a miso bible when i look into the miso bible sharing was translated as tolom so how do you say tolom in english <laughs> so that they may understand brother viela or anyone tolom a free will is it a free will offerings okay okay thank you so much so in the Mizau bible it was translated as tolom so when we talk about sharing the willingness to share is really important so one more question from this one uh Where do the willingness to share depends? Does it depends on the pos our, our possessions? Where do, okay, Gracie, the heart, okay. Does it depends on our possession? Is there any other factors? Sister Gracie said it's the heart. The burden of others, the heart and the burdens of others. Brother Ardia from YouTube said, all givings are not sharing. All giving are not sharing. Okay. So <clears throat> I would like to share one happenings during this lockdown through this uh, the factors for sharing, the willingness to share, it is it really depends on the heart. So we may think that uh, it depends a lot on what we possess because many of us may sometimes think, uh, many of the people may sometimes think that uh, they may give what uh, they have in excess, not what they really like so as brother philip is also saying so many times we must give what we really like not that only the extra one so it is really important to share and to give others uh, what we really like not only the extra things that uh, we have so i've uh, heard one news um, during this lockdown I don't know which locality it's, uh, it happens in Aizol. You may have also heard it, but uh, they say that uh, one, one family is running out of a gas cylinder. So they reported themselves to the local task force. So they give, uh, they give him the address for the one who donates the, the fully filled uh, gas cylinder. So <clears throat> that man, when uh, look, looking to the address, he forwarded and he go towards the, the house who, the one who donates that fully filled gas cylinder. So he thinks on the way, he thinks that he may enter a big house. Uh, we into, he may enter into a big house, into the rich man's house. But 
instead of that, he went down to the steps. Long, he took a very long step, and then finally he saw a very small house, uh, some type house, where the families were not rich at all, but they still donate that fully filled gas cylinder. So that man said that I feel really guilty for taking their gas cylinders, but that man said we may use the wood to cook. So the willingness to share or to give really depends in the heart, not on what we possess. So we have to keep in mind that uh, even in uh, Mark chapter 12, verse 41, we see that so many rich people are donating, but uh, one old lady is giving only a penny. So, but to God's view, she, uh, she gave it uh, most valuable things. So, we have to keep in mind that it depends really on the heart. So, next one will be the word that is in the last line. Life, that is true life. What is the meaning of this? What is life? That is true life. What is life? That is true life. I'm waiting for answers. Okay, Brother Mara from YouTube. It starts from the heart, the previous question. Okay, Ardia, eternal life. Eternal life. Eternal life. Any other answers? Life, that is true life means eternal life. Ones who really understand the ups and downs of the others. From Brother Rin Omar, we are ready to, we are ready to anything for the sake of others, okay? A life which is worthy in the eyes of God. From Brother Sako, thank you for your answers. Any more answers? The true meaning of life, the life that everyone should have. Okay, Mr. Gracie. <clears throat> the life that is connected to heavenly home. Okay, Brother Rin Omar. Thank you. Ardia, I'm using NIV, New International Version. I'm using NIV. So, life that is true life means, yes, eternal life that is connected to the heavenly home, the life. Okay, thank you so much for all your answers. So those are the questions from the application. So we may go to the application part. We may have to discuss a little bit. And if we finish it early, we may be able to have uh, more time for discussion about the whole passage, not only part by part. So. Uh, for the application, number one, uh, can we call ourselves rich? It could be, uh, it could be viewed from different angles. Can we call ourselves rich? This is the thing that 
I have already already asked in the previous question, can we call ourselves rich? Brother Rin Omar, why not? Yes. Yes. Thank you. We are rich to God. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sister Gracie. If we have God in our life, we are rich. So, <clears throat> this is a very important question and answer. So, some of us may think, see us a rich person or not a rich person, but as long as we have God in our heart, in our life, we are very, very rich. Okay, so so if we if we can call ourselves rich, are we in the position to command the rich people? Are we in the position to command the rich people? If yes, can how can we command them or command ourselves? How can we command them or command ourselves? So we already said that command is, the meaning of command is to guide, to instruct, to order according to our answers. So if we say we are rich, are we in the position to, to command the rich people or, the, or ourselves? How can we do it? If we call ourselves rich, how can we command ourselves by setting example? Ending Van Hoy, okay. Ramai from YouTube. Yes, because we are God's special possession. <clears throat> So how can we set examples? By setting examples, yes. Not to be arrogant, not to put, yes, okay. Your messages are going away <laughs> so fast I can't finish it up. <clears throat> Brother Mara, for me, absolutely, yes. Not what I have, but what I have in God. Okay, this is the answer to the first question. So we all think that we are in a position to command the rich people by not missing our opportunity to speak to them or show them, okay? Uh, yes, we can command being sensitive to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I think we've answered all to how to command the rich people. We we have to remember that we are also the rich people. So how do we command ourselves? Okay, thank you for your answer, Ardia, to YouTube. <clears throat> I think brother Philip is still typing. <laughs> Not typing. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. By setting up examples or not to push it too hard. So, okay. I think we can command ourselves to uh, prayer, to reading, the fellowship, all the good things yes discipline ourselves first sister gracie thank you so much so in order to command the rich people we have to command ourselves first and also ourselves as we are the rich people so i think we have to discipline ourselves uh pray more 
and to be guided by the Holy Spirit is the way to uh, command ourselves, to guide ourselves. By limiting, limiting ourselves in not buying what we don't need. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much. So, the final question, and right after this, we may go to the long discussion. So, as we call ourselves, uh, call ourselves rich. What good deeds can we do through our richness? What are the good deeds that we can do through our richness? How can we do good deeds through our richness? We all call ourselves rich. So through that, what can we do? What good deeds can we do? Praying for one another to be in the fellowship with each other. Thank you. Time is one of the is one of the richest positions someone can have in today's era, okay? Sharing what we have to others, okay? Okay. You've, kept, you give, you've given me your answers, thank you. And <clears throat> while uh, preparing for this Bible study this evening, I was thinking about uh, the sharing and uh, the willingness to give, especially to the ministry. <clears throat> uh, especially for me, I would like to share a few, uh, few history of myself, uh, as uh, this ministry is the one that keeps me in today's uh, position because uh, I'm sure I must say that without this ministry, I may not, e I may not even able to uh, sit like this. I may have gone somewhere very wrongly. So <clears throat> uh, through this ministry, I was saved by God and I really like to do the best I can for this ministry. So, can anyone share what good deeds can we do for the ministry, especially uh, as it saves so many lives just like mine? Can we do good, some more good deeds through our richness? I think we have to think about even the national. Okay, our national is, Fraser is running out of money, it's going on deficit every time. That's a common news for, like it's kind of a common news for us already. So I think we can do something. Yes, it is really good to give and to share to the needs, but we must know, we must also keep in our mind that UESI is also in need. So, do not think only the people, do not think only the people around us. Yes, we have to think, but we must also think that our own ministry, the reason why we all sit together in here is also in need, is also in need. So, we have to work harder and harder so that as we call ourselves rich, let me Say it, uh, say it again, as the willingness to give depends on the heart and we call ourselves rich, I think we can do something more to help our UESI ministry uh, to our richness. So uh, okay, from Brother Zhao, giving EJ faith promise, helping and sponsoring the students. 
helping them financially, mentoring the students. Thank you so much, Brother Zawa. Okay. Uh, before I wind up this Bible study, I would like to have a few, uh, few words. I know that I may not able to cope up with uh, bring out what the exact messages are going on here is uh, hidden in these verses. I know that I did not. Uh, okay, answers are still coming. Thank you. I I know that I did not. I, I do not able to bring out all the hidden messages in here. And I'm so sorry for that. And I have told brother Philip and some of our brothers that I, during the time of preparation, I was, uh, okay, okay. You may still continue uh, with the answers. And I may continue with uh, my few words. So I was falling sick and even I can't even read much more. I started prepare, preparing from last week, but having so many personal problems within uh, the preparation time. So I... may not able to bring out all the hidden messages inside, but I hope uh, God use it and may bless each and every one of us. So let us remember that uh, the willingness to give does not depend on what we possess, but it depends on the heart. So we are all capable of giving as we are rich in God, as we have God in our life. So we must also think that the USI ministry is also in need. We can help through our richness. And okay, I may end up the Bible study here. So we may open it up for the whole passage uh, discussion. So it's almost nine o'clock and my signal may become weak again. So I hope we may have uh, some more time, more time for discussion. So I may give it back to brother Philip or anyone. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you, <clears throat> brother Opia for the wonderful job that you have done. You have led us, each one of us, into a very meaningful time of Bible study, which is so meaningful, which is so important and so relevant to our context, the UESI Mizoram context, uh, which is as treasurer of ISOL EGF. You have, as treasurer, you have chosen the right passage. So this is very, very, uh, very, very encouraging. And we have about, uh, how many minutes? We have about 15 minutes with us to be nine. So uh, I'm sure uh, all of us have, uh, all of us are interested, all of us want to hear, but you know, uh, you can take some time. Some of you who really wanted to share from what you have learned from the passage, from the three verses that we had Bible study. So you can take time. Let us uh, try to speak to the point and make it uh, uh, short and sweet uh, so that uh, others will also get an opportunity and finish our uh, Bible study on time. Thank you.
you can unmute and share. Okay, uh, let me share while others are waiting uh, for some answers. Uh, this is uh, basically, you know, the kind of question that I think we have to have in mind. If we want to serve and help and sh uh, others and share our resources in the name of Christ, who do we share to? Who do we help? How can, what is the priority list, right? So how can we know where to share our wealth, possession, talent, and our time, and especially here in this context, our uh, financial uh, assets. Where are we going to share? And what value do you place on certain recipients of uh, you know, our wealth? I think uh, that is something that uh, uh, you know, we also have to think about. Very good, <clears throat> very good, brother Mark. You have uh, made the, the line clear. Uh, thank you. Any other? I'm okay, sure. Let me take yes. Some few yes. minutes. Okay. In fact, well, I want. <laughs> well done, brother. Uh, you, you did so wonderfully. Amazing. Uh, well, you have opened and explained so well. Discussion was lively. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I have been blessed. I just want to uh, second what brother Mark, Mark had just said uh, about uh, uh, giving, uh, not just as a philanthropic act, because many people uh, can just give to show off or, you know, uh, I think we must be seeing in so many uh, Instagram posts, uh, Facebook and others, you know, I'm helping this person and taking selfie with them. It's quite embarrassing for the recipient also sometimes. So that uh, giving is not really from the heart of maybe it, it, it's not really for uh, helping, but it can be a, a way of advertising themselves also. So I think we should not fall into that bait. And when, when we help people, it do give us some sense of uh, uh, you know, self-worth when we do something good. It, uh, even psychologists and unbelievers also used to say that you know, uh, one way to de-stress yourself is to give. Uh, okay, that, is, that also works somehow, but biblically, the way we should give is uh, we should uh, give because uh, Christ has given uh, the greatest gift, his life, and we ought to share, uh, and the Bible says, do good, uh, especially to believers, you know, that uh, I think we should always remember um, our fellow believers, and in our context, as Brother Opia uh, repeatedly said yeah, about our ministry, I think uh, all those who are present here has been blessed somehow through this ministry, and it is uh, very important that we also give back, uh, you know, uh, not just financially, but with our time and uh, uh, with the, uh, you know, things that we have accumulated during our EU days, the way we do Bible study, the way we do our uh, quiet time and all, I think we should teach others also. And our EUs present here, please continue to uh, invest or what I say, to, to continue to uh, uh, join us, you know, in uh, this ministry as EGF also. I think that is very, very important when we talk about sharing over here and the willingness to share. So uh, if you are blessed somehow in this ministry, yeah, I want you to you know, invest back also <laughs> in this. And it is very amazing if we study the whole chapter, chapter six, I was just going through. It's amazing. It talks about the love of money, where it says for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And it talks about how giving is, uh, you know, it's going to give us life that is eternal again. So that contrast is very, very uh, interesting. 
uh, uh, people might think that if we get more money, we'll be more happy, we'll be more satisfied. But uh, the Bible teaches that it is not. It is in giving. It is in giving that uh, we uh, uh, we will find fullness of life. So uh, I want to uh, just share that part also. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Wonderful. Any other? Uh, what I learned tonight, very short answer, is that poverty and richness are not absolutes. They are just relative terms. If we place ourselves into some other context, some other place, people may think we are very rich. I always thought I'm a poor guy, but tonight we studied that, you know, we can be very rich based on the context in which we are. And so poverty and richness is not a relative, it's just a relative term and that we can share anywhere we are, wherever we are, for the benefit of other people and for the extension of God's kingdom. Yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> praise God. Uh, all right. Uh, maybe the last, last two people to share. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Let me just share. share so. Okay. Right. Yes. Hello. Yes. Continue. Okay. Okay. Let, let me just share short. Okay. So uh, thank you, Brother Opia, for the wonderful uh, Bible study that we had. So what I just want to share short is that uh, at, at the end of the verse 17, at the end of verse 17, we can see that, but to put their hope in God, who richly provide us with everything for our enjoyment. So from there, we can see that like, who richly provide us with everything for our enjoyment. Not only provides, but richly, okay? So from that Bible verse, we can see that God has provided us what we need for our enjoyment, okay? For God has provided us what we need for our enjoyment to enjoy this life. So what I, what I asked myself was, if I don't enjoy my life, uh, that, that means like, am I not satisfied in what God has given me? So like that was the question to it was, which comes to my mind because like the Bible, the Bible clearly tells us that like who richly provide us everything for our enjoyment. So actually being a, a children of God, God has provided us what we need to enjoy this life. So if we not enjoy this life, that means like, uh, are we having lust for other things, like for other unnecessary things? So that's what the question which come on my mind. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you so much. Right. <clears throat> Any other? Oh, one of the students. And then uh, one of the students. And then Rinoma. Rimwana will close with prayer and before that one of the students may I share yes yes okay um in verse uh, 17 where uh, in verse 18 in NIV the word which is the word share in KJV Bible, it's written communicate, communicate. So someone mentioned even in text, something regarding psychological view or something, I don't know, someone mentioned, I'm not sure. So I think uh, in terms of communication, I think we can share our time by listening to others. Even from a psychological point of view, I think this is really important because in this world, uh, where everyone, uh, we are bombarded with so many things and people need more listeners. And there are even uh, therapies such as talk therapy where a, a person can just go to someone and they'll go talk and talk and talk and they'll feel better. So I think as a believer, uh, 
we should listen more and uh, instead of, I mean, if someone else were our advice, and yes, we should give them. But in so many cases, more than advice, people need listener. So I think uh, a great way to share, to share our richness to others is by giving time to others, by listening to them. I'm just, I just want to add that from like psychological point of view. I think it's really relevant to be a good listener and, and to give time to others by listening to them. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Atlani. Uh, that was very, very true. Uh, yes, from the YouTube, I'll just read out uh, from R.D. Ralte. Uh, from psychological point of view, giving, sharing our time with someone is very precious. We can help others, others, student who doesn't have permanent friend or uh, companion you know, to, to come to God, which is so important, sharing, giving to someone, you know, the students, especially students, that is very, very important. Uh, Ila me, Ila, one easy, simple way is smile, smile more if you already have God, that smile, smiling face can kill anger. Wonderful, smile, I like that. I also often do a smile and which helps in many ways, in many ways, which kills, truly kills anger, wonderful. Yes, so yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, before I hand over to uh, Brother Ring Rimona, I'm sure many have uh, so many things to share, but as we have said, we will close, uh, you know, at nine and it's almost come to nine. So we are going to close with prayer. Before that, I want to share also, as Brother Mark has really pointed out, in line with what Brother Opia has said. Uh, and along with uh, our treasurer, uh, Sister Pui. God has, oh, in your college life, in my college life, students who are in the college today and people who are working as graduates today, somewhere or somewhere or the other, or somebody invested in your life and in my life. And that's how we are, what we are today, as Brother Opia has rightly said. Somebody has invested in your life and in my life. And some way or the other, you and I have become a decision-making person today. So why don't we be encouraged all the more to invest in the life of the students who are in the college today? because they are going to be the decision-making people in the church, in the society, or uh, 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 for the state. So it's so important, little investment, time, energy, money, in whichever way possible, that is going to impact the life of the college students, and they are going to become a decision-making people. One good thing is that little, it might be just a spark but that is going to transform the life of the students. So uh, giving as uh, giving, giving. Uh, so uh, where to give is as graduates, as staff, as students. Now, uh, our line is very clear where to invest, especially to the life of the students who are in the college today. They are in need of you and I. They are in need of you and I. So if so, let us be available, invest in their lives. And the good thing is, it may be little, but they will be much more smart and much more impacting, uh, a, 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 you know, to the life of the people in the life in the society than what you and I can do today. So that is the beauty of investing. 
you know, in the life of students. So thank you so much. And thank you so much for all your participation actively and which has made the Bible study a success. And I hand over this time to Rin, Rimwana. Thank you. Thank you, brother. And thank you, um, brother Ompuya, for this wonderful Bible study once again. I'm sorry I could not uh, join, uh, join in uh, early as I ought to because of this poor signal uh, tonight. Um, before I say a word of prayer, if brother F Philip uh, allow me to share only some uh, few lines uh, uh, what I have uh, uh, learned this uh, evening. Um, you know, in order to help uh, with our resources, and here it may, it might mainly talk about this, uh, the positions or monetary. Um, like uh, Brother Merck and Brother, uh, I mean, Sister Tanpui have uh, shared, you know, um, the motive uh, has to be right. There are a lot of celebrities non-believers and even some, you know, uh, Christian celebrities and non-Christian celebrities. And there are a lot of people who are donating and who are doing this charity, helping people with their money or with other resources, uh, but their motive may not be as uh, uh, right as ours. So the motive should be right. And the motive should always be an overflowing of uh, the love that we have for Christ at the end. Uh, you know, uh, we often said that we don't need to be quite a rich person to to help other. And yes, of course, you don't need to be necessarily uh, be a rich person, but uh, we, we should not just be content with poverty at the same time. You don't, don't be happy, uh, just be happy. Be happy w with what you have, but work hard to get more, that you may be more blessings to others. So, uh, you know, you, you don't need to be rich to help others, should not promote or provoke our poverty. Uh, we should still try our best to, uh, to, to, to invest and to save up. Don't try to always wear some luxury clothes or, or, or don't always try to wear some branded stuffs, uh, you know, uh, but rather save up and save up for yourself that you may be able to help others in time of need. I think that is very, very uh, important uh, from my point of view. So I'm also blessed uh, with that. Um, so uh, thank you for inviting me to say a word of prayer. So let us all look and bow our heads in prayer. Our God, our mighty Father, we thank you, Lord, for choosing people, humble uh, and a very uh, small uh, people, uh, even uh, in front of you and in front of the world. But we know that we have you and you are all on our side. And we will never uh, stop loving you and, and do, doing your ministry. So, Lord, we pray that through this Bible study program, I pray that it would enrich our lives. I pray that, Lord, it would make us uh, a better person and that we may be able to, Lord, be more effective and efficient in the way, uh, Lord, we do this ministry. Bless this evening ministry and we we'll thank you for allowing us to be part of this beautiful, beautiful ministry. Continue to us and with whatever we have studied, Lord, I pray that you also, Lord, uh, encourage us to, to, uh, to put it into practice in our daily walk with you. And as we are in the midst of the pandemic, Lord, there are so many uh, topics, a very relevant topic we have come across. And through that, spoken to various ways. We thank you this. And uh, we may not find ourselves uh, will to be uh, blessings uh, to others. Uh, Lord, I pray that it would open our hearts and our, our eyes that we may see uh, the, the right and proper channel to become blessed people who are surrounding us. So uh, we pray for the wisdom of the Holy and your uh, inspire, inspiring uh, uh, Lord motivation. And I also pray that uh, these remaining two nights, it would still continue to uh, speak to us once again. Give us good internet connection and 
and, and that we may also be able to uh, prioritize our time for this uh, Bible study once and express us with your love and with your blessings. Help us to have a very restful night. Love you, Jesus, because we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank to you, Brother Philip. Yeah, thank you so much for your prayer. And thank you. Thank you so much. All of you, you have participated so uh, so nicely and and especially uh, uh, our sister Gracie, she has been so regular. Thank you so much, Gracie. And ending as well from Long Line, Long Lay, you know, and Dicky Me and Shako, especially from West Bengal. Oh, so, so regular. Praise God. 